Hi guys, Miss Tablescape Tuesday. Well, I'm gonna show you how to dish up your tablescape. Welcome to Beology. So welcome back to Theology. As you know, I did not do Tablescape Tuesday. Well, it's a reason. I have two reasons why you did not receive that video for Tablescape Tuesday for this Tuesday gone. Well, the first one is I was placed on bed rest. You know, I had surgery on the 29th of August and my GYN put me on bed rest. So that is the first thing. Well, the second thing is, I wanted this week to be a little bit different than what I usually do. So the name I'm giving this one, how to jush up your tablescape. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna show you, things that you can jush up your tablescape. The first one is guys, is stemware. Okay guys, because we're doing stem well first, the first thing you can use to dish up is that is some pretty stem wear, whether it's glass or crystal. That's the first thing you need to do to dish up. So, here I have a crystal champagne glass. Well, this one is the water glass, and this one is the champagne glass. Guys, when I purchased this, it was 31 in a box at Goodwill. They were dusty, tarnished, had so much of dust on it, it looked like about 45 years of dust. But I saw past all of that and came home, put them in a dishwasher, and that's what I end up with. Guys, how much did I pay for these a piece? Well, I didn't pay for them a piece. They were all in a box for $10.75. Now tell me that's not a deal and a half. So guys, I have the tall one and I have the short one and they are absolutely beautiful. Now, my other Goodwill find was this one and it's also crystal. I have a total of about 15 of these and I paid 75 cents a piece and they are absolutely beautiful. I did go online, they are Waterford crystal, crystal and these glasses retail per glass, $29, guys. And I'm like, I hit a gold mine. I really hit, a, I'm gonna take off my shoes. Ugh. Thank you, I'm <laughs> sorry. But um, I hit a gold mine, guys. I really hit a gold mine. So this is another one how to go in and look for really good things at a thrift store, but know what you're looking for. So I have two sets of crystal glasses that I paid probably how much one cost. So, mm -hmm. so the next one, guys, I was in a thrift store in South Carolina and found these. I already had the dishes, well, the plates. I had those from a thrift store here in Georgia. But I went in that store just to look around because it was a new thrift store, never been in it, and I found these. I got a total of six of them and there was a dollar piece. I went online and found them. These things are so expensive. Um, Cannot remember the name of it, but I will look them up online and insert it to let you know and how much they were. I did put these in another tablescape and I did put it on there to let you know um, how much they cost. And if I remember, I'll leave it up in the info card um, with that tablescape. So guys, beautiful, beautiful. They are so pretty. Okay. The Z Gallery copycat. So guys, this one is first, the flute. 
And of course, you know, Z Gallery has these and also Pure One. I was in Pure One today and Pure One still have them. And I paid $4.99 and actually they were gifted to me from my mother-in-law. So I have a set of six in each one of these that I'm getting ready to show you. So that one is the flute. This one is the water glass. And yes, they're kind of like, see how I've been touching and putting back and forth in my curio? Mm -hmm. This one is the wine glass. And it's like I'm missing one. Oh, I have the stimulus. Wait one second. Okay guys, I'm sorry. And I also have the stimulus. So all of these were found at Z Gallery and it was three of four for $59. And guys, I have so many. This set, actually I purchased this one. I happened to stop in Columbia, went back to Georgia and I saw the box and I was like, oh my God, I must get those. So I only paid $20 for four and plus the, the glass stands that it sits in the vase so I think they are absolutely beautiful and I didn't have to pay the Z Gallery price. Okay guys, so that is the first one and it's stemware. Okay guys, my second thing is candlesticks. So guys, as you know, we had a collaboration some time ago that I did participate in and if I remember, I will put it up in the note card also that I picked the letter C for candlesticks. And guys, I have so many different candlesticks, but when you incorporate them in your tablescape, it jushes up what your tablescape looks like. So my first one is, but this is my first one. It is sterling silver. It is crisp. I purchased this. It's another one that's taller than this. And they were $50 for the two. And they came from Babcock Furniture. And I also have the lamps that's here in my living room. I have the lamps that match them. So um, guys, this is the first candlestick. My second candlestick is my sterling silver candlesticks. If you're doing silver on your table, a platinum sterling silver. It will do a number on it, and you could actually put a beautiful flower up on your candlesticks or a candle. You don't have to always put a candle on your candlesticks. You can use it for so many different things because I also have something else that I do use on mine, and it's actually a lampshade. So I have used a lampshade with this set that I have. So this is the second one that I have. So you know we have the Blaine girls, and I'm one of the ones that love the Blaine. So guys, this is one of my Blaine ones. Um, I picked this up from Burlington, and it was 16, I think you can see that. It was $16.99, and I do have this set, uh, but it's absolutely beautiful. So guys, um, I'm just showing you three, um, but of course I have so many more. I have crystal ones in all different types. Better yet, I'm gonna show you two sets of the crystal. Hey guys, this is one. Look at that beauty. I got this one from Goodwill. It was only one, but it was $2. And I mean, it is so heavy and I know it is definitely crystal. So um, guys, that's one of the ones that I have. And this one is a set of three and they are different heights. So that is another one and it's definitely crystal. And I got this from out of a store in South Carolina. So guys, the second thing is candlesticks. Okay guys, what is number three? Number three guys is your silverware, your eatery. So 
Um, or if you want to go on a cheap note and you're doing something outside or you're going to set up a picnic outside and you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, you don't want to take your good stuff out. So these guys are from the Dollar Tree. I think they are absolutely so cute. They're black stem and they're silver. So of course they're plastic. So don't put them in your dishwasher. Don't do that. <laughs> so the next one is a blue set that I have and I purchased these from the Christmas tree. So that is the blue and it rotates from the lighter to the darker blue and they're in silver. So I have this set and this set was um, $12.99. Then when you start going over to your major stuff, this set is my silver set and this is the print on it, if you can see that. So that is my silver set. And for my birthday, my oldest son gives me a gold set. So guys, this is my gold set. And it is actually just plain, and I absolutely love them. So this is my silk, my, my goal wear. So guys, that is the third thing that you can do to dish up your tablescape. So let's move on to number four. So guys, what is number four? Can you even guess what number four is? Number four, guys, is your napkin holders. So one of the things that I absolutely, I love, to not use the typical things that you would use for your napkin ring. You can go in the store at Pier 1, Hobby Lobby, um, at home, home goods, and find things. Well, I like the clips. I have a basic one that I always use, um, but I do use them out in a set also, but I clip them. And it's, these guys are actually the flowers that goes on your Christmas trees during Christmas time. And I absolutely have a lot more. And these were $3.99 from the at-home store. And the only thing I do, I clip them on my napkin and when I clip them on my napkins, guys, look how beautiful they end up coming. Isn't that so pretty? And it's just a regular napkin ring up under there and it clips on and it's absolutely beautiful. So, that is one of the ones that I do use and it's a clip on. This one is just the bling and it's the block bling. And it actually matches my Z Gallery inspired glasses. So this one I got, I think my mother-in-law bought this set also and it was from Ross and I think it was like $5.99 for the set. So, yes. So my next one guys, let me show you this one next. Um, I actually picked these up from a yard sale, guys, and I also have the napkins to match. And if you can see that, there are um, green. It has some um, little bees in it, it's like a lighter green, and it has lavender purple in it. So I thought they were so cute, and I have the napkins, which is the same color the green, the leaf, and I paid 50 cents for the whole set of them. Hi. So now, guys, this one is just a beauty to me. Look at that. It is so pretty. And I cannot remember the website I got this off, but I actually bid it on them. When I received the box, um, there was no kind of way a pearl could get out of it. So I, one of them, the pearl was missing. So I emailed the company, I sent the pictures, and I end up getting for free. They told me, well, you have them and I am sending you your $26 back. So guys, hi, I got it for free. So I absolutely love them. So they have the bling in it, they're sterling silver, and it has my pearls in it. So who don't like free, okay? So the things that you can actually use for a napkin ring. So guys, I purchased this from Tuesday morning and it is 
a curtain tie back. Well, I don't use those as a tie back. I use these on my napkins. When I'm doing a table for two, I have certain ways that I may put my napkin on and I tie it. I have different little ways that I use these, but I don't use it on my curtains at all. And they are so pretty. They, I mean, glitter, glam, glis, glycerin, glycerin, what? Bam! <laughs> so guys, they are so, so, so pretty. And I was thinking about so make, um, so I can do four. Um, I haven't done the surgery to it yet, but I am gonna convert this one to four to two. And I have the other one, so I have four. So I am gonna do that. I just haven't gotten a chance to do it. So number four is neck rings. So guys, let's move on to number five. So guys, number five. So number five, guys, to dish up your dining room table or any other table for your tablescape, napkins. So guys, I absolutely love different types of napkins, different colors, different patterns. And also, I don't always buy my napkins out of the store, I make them myself and also my table runner. So this one is my first one is a, oh goodness, I hope you can see that. It's a yellow and white stripe. And um, almost two years ago when we first moved in our home, I had the Dollar Tree lemon print. So I was like on the hunt for yellow. So um, I got two sets of these and I got these from the app, nope, Home Goods. I got um, six, I think it was six in one, and I think they were like $9.99 or $10.99, but I do have two packs of them. Now, the second one that I have, I'm gonna use this one for later, let me tuck it. Um, this is my burnt orange one, and I got this from Tuesday morning, and I did get a set of 12 and I paid $5.99. And I have a lot more of these, but I decided to incorporate some new ones that I got from Pier One today. So guys, this is my first one. Guys, let me put these down. These were just so adorable. I'm gonna open it up. Look at, the, look. Look around there. Oh, is it that so pretty guys that is just so stinking cute um trying to get a napkin ring quick look at that that is just so cute guys and this napkin was 47 cents I'm not gonna kid you guys. Can you see it? Can you see it? Right there. Was $5 for 48 cents. So, of course your girl was gonna get it. I gotta do table skates. So, um, they only had two, but I often do table skates for two or do a dining of two. So guys, I just had to get those. They were so stinking cute. So, Yes, I have the two that I paid under a dollar for. So, I have those. And also, I pick up these. And they are trimmed in red. And they are so cute. Look at that. Against a red charger or a red plate. Ooh, with red decor on the table. Mm. Uh, this with some red, beige, and black. Oh, look. And this is also a pure one. And they were originally $3.99, and I got it for 98 cents. And oh, guys, at pure one right now is on clearance. Mm hmm. Whatever the regular price is marked down, and whatever the marked down price is, you get an additional 25% 20, 20, off. So, um, this one was $3.99. It was marked down to 98 cents. And on that 98 cents, guys, guess what? I got an additional 25% off. So, 
Mm, girl. So on this one, um, they only had four and that was cool with me. So, mm-hmm, 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 got them. So, with this one, guys, they only had one. But um, it didn't scare me away because they only had one. This one was so cute. I just absolutely had to get it. And I can use it for a middle tablescape, um, a middle runner. And instead of it being the long way, I can open this out. So just don't sleep on your napkins to be just a napkin. It could be something totally different. So look at this, guys. Isn't that so darling? So um, you can put this in the middle of your table and put your mats right around on the edges. So pretty, so pretty. So this one, guys, I wish they had more. Um, trying to fold it back up. And now trying to find the price tag. Um, it was $6 and it was marked down to $1.48 and it was 25% off that also. So now guys, it's the DIY. You can DIY your own napkins. Mm-hmm, y'all have seen this in a tablescape. Mm-hmm, Dollar Tree pillowcases. So this is a pillowcase that I turned into a napkin and Trying to find something that's kind of like pulling up the color. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, you see little fringes on the end. But okay, can you say pillowcase? So I end up with a table runner, five nap six napkins for one dollar. Can you beat that? So, guys, my number five is napkins okay let's move on to number six so guys what is the number six centerpieces yes guys a centerpiece um this centerpiece guys i purchased this from home goods and i paid forty dollars for it let's just see Ugh. I don't know if you can see it, but it's $39. It's $39.99. And I purchased this about two years ago. They was bringing it in the cart with some real, real tall ones and the three-way ones. And I was like, uh-uh, girlfriend, don't go too quick for that one. I want that one. So, yes, that is one. And this is a centerpiece. Right now, I have it in my living room on my coffee table as a centerpiece. But, yes. I often put it on my dining room table with all of my bling pieces to go with it. So that is the first one. So what's my second piece? My second piece is my closure. It is my closure, guys. I purchased this closure from at home store for, I think it was $20. Yeah. For $20. And I wanted to just it up because it was just plain glass. So what I did, I went over to Hobby Lobby and I pick up this bling wrap and I put it around. And look, guys. Okay, okay, okay. So it's, it's just so pretty so pretty so that's another thing you can use for a centerpiece so now what else can you use for a centerpiece a lantern i love lanterns guys i have probably about 10 lanterns i have so many lanterns guys they outside on the front porch, they're on the back porch, they're on my staircase, they're um, in my kitchen, 
They're on top of my curio, they're in front of my fireplace, they're in front of fireplace in my bedroom. I love curios. I love lanterns. <laughs> but in this lantern right now, I just have one of the green little balls in it. So that is all that is sitting in this one right now, but it's a perfect thing that you can use for a centerpiece for your tablescape. So guys, should I send you other? Should I change up? Hmm, I'm gonna change up. So, the number seven thing that you can use to dish up your tablescape is bling. Okay, bling. Okay, guys. So, what is that bling? My first one is my apple. Look at this, and I have two of them, and they came from. Burlington and I paid $7.99 a piece for them, but it was one thing that I found in both of them that I ended up getting for $5 a piece, guys. Yes. So guys, yes, this is one thing that you can use as bling to dish up your tablescape. The next one, I decided just to bring my baby out right now because um, it's fall season and we are doing pumpkins. And this is the baby pumpkin. I have a big one that I paid $12.99 for and she's sitting over there. I decided just to bring her baby over. So this one was, guys, $8.99. And see the bling on that bad boy. Mm. I'm about to tempt it. I'm gonna show you something. Can you see bling? Wait a minute, guys. Let me get my thumbnail. Got it. <laughs> so that is the number seven. What you can use to bling up and jush up your tablescape. Okay, guys. So what is my number eight to jush up your tablescape? Guys, it's statement pieces. This is one of my statement pieces that I have not used in a decor yet. I haven't used it in a tablescape. And it was $7.99 and it was from Ross and I just had it sitting on the side. But guys, can you say a real queen? Okay. <laughs> but guys, no, this is um, one of your statement pieces. And I love statement pieces because your statement piece can make your whole tablescape. If you, um, one of the tablescapes I did was the Paris theme, the um, dinner for two and I did the Paris theme. What I decided to do to take one of the Paris towers, the word Paris, and I just started building my tablescape around that. With this, yes, it'll be a uh, tablescape for queen of the day. It will be coming, it will be coming guys. So your statement pieces definitely is, mm-hmm, one of the things to dish up your tablescape. Okay guys, what's number nine? Of course, you know it has to be your plating wear. It is your dishes guys. Um, this is the dish set that I have on my table right now that did come from Target and the set was $60. It was $59.99, so it's $60. So um, with this, I also have the bowl with it. So it's the three piece and it was set in a four and um, they're a square. So um, I have so many different types of plates, shapes, colors, patterns. I have them but i wanted to pull just one of them out right now and this one is my white set that's sitting in my dining room right now and it is a target item so that is the number nine to dish up your tablescape okay guys my number 10 to dish up your tablescape is a wine to match your tablescape so guys, this is a bottle of Stella Rose and this is Tropical Mango. And what I like to do is match whatever tablescape I have. I look for this plastic piece. 
and whatever I'm doing, like if I'm doing our orange pumpkins on my tablescape, trimmed in gold, I will use this bottle. So I use this. So this one, if I want to do hunter green, this is my flirty bird. Um, and this one came from Audi and see that emerald green isn't that gorgeous so if i would do emerald green on a tablescape and gold or a little bit of silver or white i can use this one so what other colors did i have and it is pink of course guys you know it had to be a little pink and green in there so this is the dry watermelon I had to check that. I thought my thing was gone. And this one, guys, is not real wine. This is sparkling water. So if you're not a wine drinker like me, alcohol drinker like me, so guys, I drink sparkling drinks. So this is the dry sparkling soda, watermelon flavor. So, of course, I'm looking at the color. trying to see. This one's another one that I picked up from Audi. And this one is the Pacific Fruit Vineyard. And this is the Sweet Peach. And what I'm looking for again, guys, I am looking for that plastic cap. Something that will match my tablescape. That is what I'm looking for. I don't go on the taste or what it can taste or whatever because I'm not interested in that. A lot of other people would be interested in that for but for myself, I'm not interested in that. I am definitely looking for that seal. What color that seal is. So, another thing, buy things that goes with the season. So, this one is pumpkin spice. It's not wine, it's of course sparkling. And I also have the cran cranberry apple. And I also have, there's some other one that I have. Oh, apple cider, I have that one. But I found this one at um, Aldi and it was like $3. So I had to get it because it is the pumpkin. So it's season appropriate, but you have gold. So therefore it'll go with any color tablescape because of the gold, but because it's pumpkin, it's only seasonal. So guys, I have brought you the top 10 items that I use to dish up my tablescape. So guys, I will leave a list of the ones that I have for my top 10 or what the items that I dish up my tablescape. And guys, hope you enjoyed this informative tablescape dish up. And until the next time, guys, please like, subscribe, thumbs up, turn on your notification bell. Because like I always say, you never know when your girl's going to upload her next video. And you know, guys, what I always say, I hate to leave you, but I got to go. But I'll be back. Bye, guys. Like, subscribe.